In a surprise move yesterday, Republican leaders ditched the idea of a payroll tax holiday. This is a big mistake. It'll hurt a vulnerable economy that needs all the help it can get. I'm Steve Forbes, and this is What's Ahead, where we give you the insights you need to navigate an ever more turbulent world. Well, they've done it. Republicans have abandoned the idea of a payroll tax holiday. This at a time when new applications for jobless benefits rose this week for the first time in nearly four months. Employers are getting cautious because of the rise in COVID cases, and some states are rolling back or delaying their reopening plans. Many smaller businesses are running out of cash and face bankruptcy. The Federal Reserve's Main Street Lending Program, which was supposed to provide life-saving loans to small and medium-sized businesses, is stalled because lending conditions are too tough. The payroll tax suspension would have been a powerful tonic. A person making $40,000 a year would enjoy an annual take-home pay raise of $3,000 tax-free. For somebody making $50,000, the number would have been almost $4,000. For employers, the savings would have come at a critical time. The cost of keeping workers would have gone down immediately by over 7%. The cost of hiring a new person would go down by over 7%. Positive incentives all around. You wouldn't need a new program or have to go through bureaucratic procedures. Just don't collect the tax. Simple and powerful. The absence of this powerful stimulant will mean bad job reports in both September and October. A slowing economy could well create the conditions for the election of Joe Biden and a Democrat Congress. The resulting storm of higher taxes and massive government intrusions into businesses would trigger a frightening economic disaster. Unfortunately, the new stimulus bill is shaping up as a big spending dud that would not help get the economy back on its feet. For now, it looks like the White House wants any deal it can get. Sometimes, however, no deal is better than an effective deal, and this one is shaping up as one of those. I'm Steve Forbes. Thank you for listening. Do send in your comments and suggestions, and I look forward to seeing you next time.